All right. Good morning, guys. Woo. I think I got everything up and running again. We should be good. So check this out. I was looking at the Common Sense Conservatives YouTube channel. He's over there on the West Coast. And he wrote, let me read this for you. If you ever wondered how Antifa and BLM are so well-funded without Soros, here you go. This is what I've been talking about on the live streams. Check out this GoFundMe they have for the occupied area. If you didn't watch the episode I put up about the new autonomous zone in Portland, um, there are probably a hundred people squatting at this red house, and all year the landlord has been trying to evict them, but the government of Portland, Oregon won't allow it to happen. So after, I, I think two days ago, they were caught with illegal firearms, so the police were called in to sweep the area and get all these homeless people out. Well, not only did the police fail horribly, but now it's grown into a full autonomous zone, and they are raising money through GoFundMe. If you don't know, guys, my GoFundMe was taken down last week. I had a GoFundMe called Alternative Media in Southern Maine, where a lot of you were donating to me because you've been following me, watching me, not be able to work, lose my job, all this nonsense. And they took down my GoFundMe without any explanation, without an appeal, nothing. It just violated terms of service. But look at this, guys. This is still live. $265,000 raised out of a $250,000 goal. These are literally domestic terrorists occupying private property, stockpiling weapons, and attacking the police, and they're allowed to have a GoFundMe. But I can't have a GoFundMe to feed myself. Absolutely sick. I am so sick of this. I really just hope we go to war. I'm so done with this. Anyway, I'm going to report this, and I'm sure they won't take it down. It's just unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. Like, I'm literally fighting to stay in my apartment. And these people are allowed to fund domestic terrorism with GoFundMe. They're funding domestic terrorism. That's a quarter of a million dollars. Quarter of a million dollars. Let's take a moment to look at some uh, screenshots about how this place is, or what this place is that they're raising money for. It's so wrong, you guys. That thumbnail of the, the Catholic being stoned to death, the old engraving, it's exactly what we're living through today. If I didn't have such good family, my brother's helping me out a ton, helping me stay in the apartment. If I didn't have the little network that I have, I would be homeless. And you know what? I'm probably going to be homeless, but I can't stop doing this because this is what needs to be done. This is so disgusting. I'm so sick of America. What a joke. I hope we just go to war. So they can go on GoFundMe and raise money for this, guys. Look it. They're, they're allowed to raise more than a quarter million dollars. But I'm not allowed to raise money. Look at this. It's just, it's evil. It's absolutely evil. I'm just, it's beating me down bad. <laughs> it's beating me down, dude. I just literally want war to, war to come. And before you write in the comments, you don't know what real war is, blah, blah, blah. No, I do. I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> I'm 100% ready. I would rather become a martyr and go to the eternal kingdom than live in this nightmare any longer. Literally. Bring it on. I'll take on all these people with a side of hot sauce. I'm not scared one bit. And that's what true faith is. I finally understand at 28 years old what true faith is. But yeah, over a quarter of a million dollars they're allowed to raise so they can destroy a city, destroy private property, attack police, stockpile weapons, and cause domestic terrorism. These domestic terrorists are allowed to use GoFundMe, but I'm not. Look at this. With that being said, if you want to support Venmo and PayPal are in the description, don't forget to go on BitChute and check us out. Um, I'm going to do a video right after this where we're going to read some terms out of the dictionary concordance of the Bible. I promised you guys I'd look up some of your names. And I also have some interesting terms that are important to our studies, especially with Freemasonry and everything. Just remember, guys, GoFundMe, these people are allowed. As I'm fucking talking about accountability and why. This is all oh, okay oh, to GoFundMe. Look, that's a secondary Literal car. warfare. Look, that's a second warfare car. Warfare in the streets is okay. Woo! But Jay feeding Damn. himself ain't. Yeah. You know what, GoFundMe, go F yourself. All you people are going to burn in hell. Thank you guys. I'll be back in a little bit with the video. Links are in the description to the PayPal and Venmo, but also to tons of information.
and you need to share that information, whether it's in the description of all my videos, Klaus Schwab's Great Reset, all sorts of CDC documents, everything you need to show people that we are at war 100%. And lastly, dude, we're blowing up on TikTok. TikTok is mad fun. My, my little six-second videos get thousands of views. It's crazy. So go on TikTok. It's actually a good time. Um, let me show you what I uploaded this morning. Or just an example of what I upload, right? You're going to find this one funny. Hold on. <laughs> let me see if I can get volume. Okay, watch this one. Just a construction site. Construction site. Construction site. Mass propaganda. <laughs> Look at that. Site. What is why is this site. construction site construction putting up a site. banner like that? You ready for it? Site. Mass propaganda. What? What is that? Construction Bears and moose wearing masks. I don't know, guys. What else do I have for you? Um, check it out. This hospital down the street from me, which. This is a testing center. If you want to get tested in Portland, Northern Light Mercy Hospital is listed on the CDC in Maine's website. Dude, it's empty every day. I'm going to go to Maine Med too today and prove to you that they are completely empty. I'm so mad, guys. I'm so mad. I hate GoFundMe. I hate lefties. I hate everything that's going on. I just want it to come. I'm ready. All right, I'll be uploading a video in a little bit that you don't want to miss. I'm going to... Make a video for all y'all that wanted to hear your names out of the Bible. God bless. See you in a little bit. Soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force, you are about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. He will fight savagely. But this is the year 1944. Much has happened since the Nazi triumphs of 1940-41. The United Nations have inflicted upon the Germans great defeat in open battle, man to man. Our air offensive has seriously reduced their strength in the air and their capacity to wage war on the ground. Our home front have given us an overwhelming superiority in weapons and munitions of war and placed at our disposal great reserves of trained fighting men. The tide has turned. The free men of the world are marching together to victory. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty, and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. Good luck, and let us all beseech the blessing of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking. <laughs>